right? Now, how do we know that this criteria is true, right? Now, there's a bunch of different things. I think number one is basically, this is what I think, this form of mine, right? If I put my finger here, it turns on, right? So like that, so it recognizes my finger. So Allah has given us this base operating system, this understanding, this base, what we call in Arabic fitra, innate nature, the essence, the element, whatever you want to call it. When it receives the true knowledge of Allah, the light glows. So it makes sense, right? Now, sometime what happens is as time goes on, communities, parents, environment, that, that base operating system is basically corrupted. Just like when I get this phone fresh, it's very fast, right? I can call the sheikh, no problem. Right now, I may have to do kill an app, right? Because I've installed a lot of unneeded apps on it, right? They're making it slow. They're taking up storage. So things like what happened to you, right? Different things expose you to that. They clean away those apps and then they present this plain surface to the knowledge of Allah, right? Anybody who is deserving of faith, who is sincere, who is serious, the light will glow. Right? Debates, argument, research, things, they help to uncover that, you know, they help to clean those, you know, unwanted apps. Until you have that clean state, you see the knowledge, makes sense, it glows. Right? The only place it doesn't glow is two things. Right? Either it's ignorance, they don't know. Right? So they have to be taught, they have to be cleansed, they have to be debated, nicely argued, logic, whatever. Or the case of Satan. He knows, but is still arrogant. So he knows he's talking to the Lord, right? But he's still like, no, what I'm thinking makes sense. I can't do this. I'm not going to obey you, right? So basically, so this is, and obviously there are other details you can see. Look, Quran, right? So you compare Quran to any other religious book on earth right now. Firstly, nobody even claims, as far as I know, that they have a text from God, right? You know that Christians don't claim that the Bible is from God, word by word. Yeah, no. Right? Don't. So we, the Quran is the only text today that says that it's word by word as God spoke it. Recorded, communicated, verbalized, boom, you have it right there. Recorded, but by whom? Okay, so the way it was delivered was basically Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him would recite it yeah. to his companions mm -hmm. and certain companions were assigned to write it down. Similar to God and, or Jesus and his disciples? Right. I mean, as far as I know, right? But then, right now, we don't have those originals, right? Then it becomes their own interpretations of it. Sure, sure. Right? As time goes on. Right. So this was then basically, it was a, this is how it was recorded at the time of the Prophet in front of him. So verified, no problem. When he passed away, all those were gathered together, verified from one copy to the other, and one compilation was created from that. And then it just passed on generation to generation, but it still is mostly relied on verbal. So you, you might see in the mosque right now, people are verbally memorizing it. Yes. So if you take this away, they can still write it tomorrow. Because it's memorized. If, I, if I'm reading it, I'm reciting it, I make a mistake, a, a five-year-old, a seven-year-old, nine-year-old can correct me. Right? So this is, this is how it is. So, so that's another thing, right? So the knowledge preservation of it, you can take everything back to God. Now, so thirdly, whatever Prophet Muhammad spoke or did, is approved by Allah because he is the messenger of Allah right and those things were also recorded so we have Quran and then we have the statements and the actions of the Prophet peace be upon him and we call that Sunnah right or Hadith or Sunnah right so every attribution everything that is attributed to the Prophet so peace be upon him right has a confidence level right so you just don't go and say oh the Prophet said that you actually have a chain how do you know the Prophet said it because this person heard from this person who heard from this person all the way until the companion who directly heard from the prophet you have this whole chain you know when they were born when they died you know what is their integrity level what is their memorization level everything so each attribution to him has a confidence level right so there are certain attributions based on this science we think they're very weak it's very unlikely that this goes back to the prophet even if it may sound nice just because of the integrity of that knowledge this is also preserved all right, and then the character of the prophet, like why would he do that? Why would he go against the, you know, the whole family tribe? If, if he was somebody who was after money, fame, or wealth, then well, give me no, no, no just, problem. Sure. No problem. Right? He would, you know, he wouldn't do that. Right? So all these things, right? And your dependence on Allah is something that will tell you, hey, is this something from Allah or not? Mm -hmm. 
right? So that, that's basically the essence. And that is the main difference between Christianity and Muslim. 